Hey there, this is a tutorial for creating a system kind of like Hearthstone, where you will be able to drag and drop cards from one area to another. Of course, it's going to be very raw, but it will give you the basic knowledge that you need for, you know, that kind of system. So the first thing that we're going to do is check that I have all my scripts here. I have four scripts. They're all empty and all my game objects are empty except this one. This one has a vertical layout group so that this looks very organized, but that's not something that matters too much. So the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, get our four objects and these objects are all drop zones. I call drop zone an area where a card can be dropped. So of course the hands are going to get one of these hand controllers and the play areas will get play area controllers. So I will go ahead and drag to both the hands a hand controller. There. And now the play area will get a play area controller that I haven't created and I will create it here just to show that I'm not cheating. Uh, all right, so whoop. There you go. So we just wait and we add a play area controller here. Now, I want to create cards. And how do I create cards? Well, I just right click on player hand and I will do UI image. And that's my card. I will add a card controller to my card. I have it right here. And I will also add to my player hand something that I, you know, like very much is called horizontal layout group. It allows me to organize my objects in any way that I prefer. And I will align my, my children to the middle, upper center, no middle center. So that they start here. Of course, you can organize your cards in any way that you may want. So now I will go into my card controller. And we'll start with the drag and drop behavior. So how do we do a drag and drop behavior simply? Well, you would think that you have to do update or start, or you don't have to do many things here. It's very, very simple. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a using, using Unity Engine that event systems. This will allow me to access a certain part of Unity that is called the handlers. So the handlers are elements that allow me to use to to do things like you will see in a second but yeah for example i have this i begin drag handler which is as its name says it tells me or you know allows me to see when the user is trying to drag something with their mouse or their touch so i'm going to say i begin drag handler i on drag handler or rather i drag handler and finally an i and drag handler so you see that they're all underlined in red. That means they're not implemented. And how do I implement it? Well, I just click here and it says implement interface and it's implemented now. But if you don't have that option, you can just type in on begin drag pointer vein data and vent data. And that way you, you will get your, you know, it, this is the implementation. So I will do the same thing for all of them. Well, actually I will write one for that, for that one. I say public void on drag. Oh, pointer event data event data and you will see that this is going to stop being underlined in red and how do i know what to implement well i just hit just hit f12 and it leads me to the thing to the public interface i drag handler and it says to implement that so i just do what i'm told to do i'm not i'm not psychic i don't do this from memory i just know by hitting f12 so there we go we have our three members here i'll begin drag on drag and on end drag so on begin drag we're going to execute any action so i'm going to say debug.log drag be gone and i'm going to detach so as i said before this this hand or each of them is going to have a similar horizontal layer group i'm actually going to copy components and then paste them in all of the others so that we all have the same horizontal layout group. And so if I try to move an element here, even in the editor, I, I'm not allowed to because it's the child of a horizontal layout. That's the whole point. So if I have many of these cards, they will be organized, but I can't 
I can't move them. So the first thing that you need to do on begin drag is to detach the card from the parent. So we're going to say transform that set parent. And we're not going to say no, we have to say transform that root. And then what does that mean? So root of a transform means not this, not this, but this, the, the grand, 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 grandparent, but not no. It's the first one in the hierarchy for that transform. So after doing that, we'll be allowed to move the card, but of course the card's not being moved. So here we're going to allow the card to be moved to the mouse position. So we say transform that position equals um, input that mouse position. And that should work. So let's see whether it does work or not. Hit play. You see that it works. So I can drag my card easily. And you say that you see that down here it says drag be gone. But yeah, this, this thing is following my mouse position. If I let go, it will stop and I can do that as many times as I want. But you can see that it's not getting reattached to anything. But I mean, the drag and drop, I already have the drag part of the drag and drop. It is insanely, insanely easy. So how do I reassign the, the parents here? So, okay, that's easy. We are going to go ahead and implement a second thing. Remember, this is being recorded live at twitch.tv slash natural power games. I am, it is not scripted that I'm just going, many of these things are from memory, okay, whatever. So the point is, we're going to go to my manager's object and here I will add my card manager. My card manager is going to have two, uh, it could have two fields, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna do a public static transform and I'm going to say, or rather rec transform, Eh, I'm going to call this a last entered drop zone, right? And then when we, in my card, when we end the drag, we're going to say transform that set parent card manager that last enter drop zone. This will allow me to, you know, reattach the card to a drop zone. Of course, I, I should have the card to be different colors. So I'm going to get here, I'm going to modify my color in code. So I'm going to say using Unity Engine UI. I'm going to have a private image. Image. In awake, I will get comp image equals get component, of course, image. And we're going to assign a color to my image. So I'm going to say image dot color equals a new color and we're going to randomize the values of the color because it doesn't really matter uh i'm gonna actually get a three we need three floats so float r equals unity engine that um that random that range from zero to one and we do the same thing for rgb let's do rgb and here we create a new color RGB. So that way each card will have a random color so that we can identify if I'm dragging and dropping the right thing. So wow, what about the drop zone? Well, the drop zone is for our dropping. Of course, I am I, I don't want to imply that this way of doing things is the best way, but I think I find it a very easy and accessible way. So which as I mentioned before, we have I begin drag. I cancel, I whatever, a lot of things, but this was gonna be I pointer enter. So whenever we enter this drop zone, we will tell the card manager that last enter drop zone equals transform. That's it. It's a very simple concept basically. Now my hand controller will be a descendant of drop zone. So basically this script can be empty and it will act as a drop zone. And then my play area that I created here will also be a descendant. Well, I call it descendant, but that's not the right name. Uh, drop zone, it's gonna be a inherit from drop zone. Sorry about the bad naming conventions there. All right, so now 
we can go and there's one thing that's gonna happen here. For the pointer to enter, you, you remember that I'm dragging the card and the card's always below the pointer. The images in Unity have a property called Raycast Target that if you turn it off, it will allow you to enter, to, to get messages from other uh, stuff, right? So whenever we begin drag in the card, we will say image that set Raycast Target, or rather Raycast Target, it was false when we begin the drag and then when we drop the card we say image that Rekas target is true that will make it very very accessible so let's hit play again and see the colors and stuff they all went black for some reason let me see why zero 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 uh i don't know why they all went black but we'll see that later so I'm going to drag the card. You you will see in this part that the card is set here. I'll drop it here and it's it changed parents to this and I can drop it wherever I want. And that is a simple drag and drop system. So I now that you have that, you already can make your drag and drop system. You can have a system where you let's let me copy this here and I'm going to multiply it so I can do that um, you can have a system where you draw draw cards and place them there or you know whatever you need but this definitely is a system that works really simply as you can see I, I ten, less than 10 minutes and it's already done I will extend the tutorial just a little bit so you can see here that uh, Unity Engine random round range, you know that color. Oh yeah. So the alpha should be one. I don't know if that's that was a problem. Maybe oh this is from zero to two fifty five. Maybe let's see. Let's see. Let us see if this is from zero to two fifty five. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I don't know why it's not it, it doesn't matter all right so yeah so that's basically it for a simple drag and drop system if you have any questions at all you can ask in the comments you can come to the stream every thursday i am recording a tutorial a different set of tutorials uh so thank you for watching and i hope this is useful for someone out there